Hello, my name is Kola Oalavi. I'm organ professor in the Department of Music and for the Graduate Sacred Music Program at University of Notre Dame. I'm demonstrating our Italian Baroque organ. This is an instrument that originated somewhere near Naples around the year 1680. And you can see the pipes in the facade here. They're made of lead. And this, combined with the low wind pressures, gives this instrument its characteristic sweet, gentle, and vocal sound. Another thing you'll notice about it is the quarter comma mean tone tuning, which was the prevalent tuning system in the 17th century. And you'll notice that the major thirds are pure, so they're a little bit lower, uh, smaller in size than in equal temperament, and the minor thirds are a little bit larger, and this really allows one to hear a contrast between the consonant and dissonant chords in the music. I'll be playing two pieces by Girolamo Frescobaldi, who spent most of his career working as organist at St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, beginning in the year 1608 uh, until his death. In addition to his work at St. Peter's, he was a regular part of the musical life of uh, the establishments of many of the prominent cardinals in the Vatican. So for instance, Antonio and Francesco Barbarini, who were nephews of Pope Urban VIII, and the Toccatas probably were generated in this kind of a milieu. They actually show influence of the madrigal tradition that Frescobaldi would have gotten to know growing up in his hometown of Ferrara, where the court there had a prized virtuoso ensemble, the Concerto della Dame, which was three singers who would accompany themselves on lute, harp, and violin, and sing music that was really full of dramatic contrasts, contrast in tempo, contrast in dynamic, uh, all in pursuit of portraying a text really vividly. And uh, Frescobaldi encapsulates all of this into his keyboard style, along with keyboard figuration and uh, idiomatic uh, types of motives that come from the emerging seconda practica. So I'll play a Toccata, Toccata Prima, from the second book of Toccatas, which was published in 1627. And then I'll play the Capriccio from the Bassa Fiamenga. And this is an example of Frescobaldi's contrapuntal style. The Capriccios all make use of a certain theme, which is developed in several sections, much in the style of an Italian canzona. And in each section, new ideas are added in a feat of contrapuntal display. I'll just mention one other aspect of the performance, and you'll see that the organ is being hand-pumped by Martha Barth, who was a graduate student in the Sacred Music Program. She's from Northfield, Minnesota. And so she is pumping the two bellows that supply wind to this instrument. I hope you enjoy these performances of music by Frescobaldi. 